Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing eight 3x3 three three example solves. Me and Nick are going to be doing the same scrambles, so I'll link his video in the description once he has it uploaded. <coughs> okay, first scramble. For this scramble, I think I would go for blue. I'll just check out yellow real quick. Uh, no, I'd go for yellow. Okay, so what I'd do, I'd see yellow blue edge and the yellow orange edge. I can just solve them with B prime D. And I can see my first pair is going to be this corner and this edge, so I'll just track those. So B prime D, and then just put this edge in with R prime F, and then insert this with R2. And then my first pair is in the back like this, so I can just solve them like that. After I did that, next pair I'll probably go for is these two. So pair them up like that. And then I see these two, and I know that they're going to be set up, so I can just do like an L U to L prime to pair them, sort of thing. So, like that. And then these two. And rotate, insert, and then I can see these two. They're going to be paired, but the edge is going to be flipped. So, like that. And then to solve these two, I would just insert the edge like that, and then pair them up like normal. This OLL and then PLL. Okay, second scramble. Okay, this is really easy for blue, just a three move cross. And it cancels into the first pair really nicely and I can look ahead into the second pair. So for the cross, all the pieces are like this. It's just R, D, R prime. And then this corner and this edge don't move at all. So I can just go right into them. And then I can track this pair because this edge doesn't move at all. And this corner, it's going to end up with blue on the right here. So I'll just do the cross with R, D, R prime. And then with this pair, I cancel into it with like that. And then this pair is where I thought it was. And as I'm inserting them, I'm going to flip this last layer edge. So yeah. Next I'll probably go for this pair and at this point I'm going to end up orienting all the last layer edges just from experience I know that if I set them up the normal way and then insert with sledgehammer it'll orient this edge here and this edge here so like that and then last pair here I don't know if that was on camera or not but yeah these two and then this ZBLL, I recognize it really stupidly by first aligning the corners so that these stickers match with this layer. It's really bad, but that's just sort of what I do for the CLL. I check for ZBLL. And then this case is just like that. Okay, third scramble. Okay, this is nothing really too obvious. Um, could do red, but finding the first pair is kind of annoying. Yellow, um, sort of a similar. Nah, no, nah, that's easy actually. Okay, here I'm going to do yellow, and so I've got this here aligned with its opposite center, and same thing for the blue edge. And this red edge in one move will be in a similar situation, so. And I'm going to pair, this pair is going to end up in the back right here. And I'll be able to just insert it with L U prime L prime. So what I do, so I'd solve the orange and the blue with B prime R prime. And insert the red, also creating this pair. And then I can do D, and instead of just doing F to put the green in, do U prime F, and then D. And then just insert this pair in the back. 
<coughs> and then after that I see this pair right here and I see these two as well which is probably slightly easier but I probably just go for these two and just go right into these next without rotating then we've got these two and then this last pair here just like that then this OLL then PLL okay fourth scramble I think None of these are too amazing. Huh. Yeah, I don't like this scramble at all. At all. I'd probably just do blue. So, um, yeah, i just move this blue edge over with D, and then insert the red in the back with B2. So, D, B2, and insert this orange edge, L, F prime, and just D2, R2. And the first pair I see, these two in the front, so I could do that, set them up, and right after that, see these two, so I could just separate them like that, then insert in the front, then after that I'd probably go for these two, so I'd rotate, and just pair them like this, and then last pair. And here I could do some sort of weird EO trick without rotating, but in a solve I'd probably just insert the pair in the back like that. And then get this dot OLL. And then G perm. Okay. If scramble. this scramble, I... Hmm... Okay, yeah. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do red, and my first pair is going to have... My first pair is just gonna be this F12 pair, solved right here, but it's in the diagonal slot, so I have to swap them using a weird trick thingy I'll show you later. So I'd solve the re red yellow by doing D, R prime, then Y prime, L prime. Then these last two pieces, just R to FR. And I knew this pair would be in the back like this, but it needs to go over here, so I would just bring this slot up, insert the pair, and then bring that down. Then right after I just saw these two in the front, so I would just separate them, rotate, and then next I would go for these two here, so just pair them up, then insert, then this last pair here, would we'll just connect them and then instead of just inserting them like normal, I can just do sledgehammer and then get this OLLCP, and I know just from experience I'm going to get a Z perm. Six scramble. Okay, uh. here, um, right away I can see these two white cross edges solved, so that'll probably be my start. Okay, yeah, here I'm going to do white, and I'm going to set up this corner and this edge into a free move insert. So, start off, I've just got these two, and then these edges here are opposite, which is really nice, so I can just do D, R, and then instead of just doing L2 to finish off the cross mostly, because I saw this edge back here, I can just do L, U prime L to get the free move insert, and then D. And then just insert them in the back, 
And then I see this flipped edge here, and I'm just going to keep that in mind, but probably not go for it, because the edge is in the back there. Well, I didn't know it was in the back there, but it wasn't in plain view, so I'm just going to take note of the edge and maybe do some edge control later. So I'll probably just rotate, then right away I see this corner and this edge. So, just set them up like this. And then this pair here. So I'd do that, and that ended up kicking out the um, flipped edge there, so I'll just forget about doing any edge control. And actually I take that back, because this is really easy. So I can just pair these two, you, and then just do it like a sledgehammer in the back, like that. And then I get all the edges oriented. LLL, LL. Seventh scramble. Okay. This isn't that great, actually. Shit. Um. Yeah, this is crap. Okay, I guess I could... Okay, here I'm going to do white. It's a really crappy 7-move cross with lots of different gens of moves, which is crap, but I can see... I can sort of know what I'm going to do for my first pair. Like, I don't know entirely where it's going to end up and stuff, but like, I know that I can solve it without rotating. That's all I know about the pair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... First I'm going to solve this green, white, and blue white with R prime, then B prime F, and insert this orange with R2. And then before flipping this edge, I'll just move these two here, U prime, and then do that. And then I see they end up here, which I... S I kind of knew they would, but I wasn't sure. But I just knew that I wouldn't have to rotate afterwards, which is good. So just solve them like that. And I see these two. And I see these two. This is a really cool trick. So for this pair, and you've got them in the back left, like this, you can just do F double... F sexy F prime. Well, fat F. Which is, um... It's basically just this OLL, so... So you've got this pair in the back, just do that, and then insert. And then I've got this pair here, and I know that after I pair it, I could do winter variation. So, pair, and then this winter variation case, got a corner sticking here and this one out there, so... That's the winter variation, then Y perm. Okay. Last solve. Okay, this is cool. I'm going to do white, and I'm going to set up this corner edge pair, so that I can just do U2 and then right insert. So just this, and then this pair here will be solvable without rotations. So how I would solve the cross is I'd set up the green and blue to be opposite each other, and I'd do D, R2 to put in the orange, then D2, and then move this pair out of the way, so U, R prime. Then just insert them. And then I knew this pair would be solvable without rotations, so do that. And then I'd probably go for these two, because the first thing I saw was this corner, but then I didn't see the edge, and then I just saw these two, so I would just go for them. And here, what I can do, another edge orientation trick for this corner edge pair, I can just do sledgehammer, and then U, and then rotate, and then insert the pair, so, like that. And then this OLL slash COLL, I think it might skip, I'm not sure. It's just the standard ALG, and no, it doesn't skip, but whatever. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope these example solves helped you. So, yeah.